on to, to Gaza, yeah. where the Israelis have invaded. Now, I, I mean, I see the Palestinian argument. They have a legitimate gripe. What I don't see is the argument from so much of the rest of the world that they also have the moral high ground. I see on the news every night lots of reports, and it's very sad, we all feel horrible about them, of Palestinian civilians who are dying, including children. Nobody seems to ask, whose fault is that mostly? All right, folks, welcome to Give Me Five. Uh, Bill Maher, uh, kind of on the right side of the issue. I don't feel the Palestinians have legitimate gripes, except against uh, their own leadership. But whose fault is it? Bill Maher seems to know. I feel terrible for a Palestinian child who dies. But if it's your father, your brother, your uncle who is firing those rockets into Israel, whose fault is it really? Do you really expect the Israelis not to do, not to retaliate? I I don't, I don't think you can understand the conflict without reading Hamas's charter upon which they were founded, which clearly calls, and it's chilling, uh, calls for not only the destruction right. of Israel, but the murder of Jews generally. They say the day will come when yeah. the trees will call out and they say, here's a Jew, come kill them. Uh, this is the mentality of the people they are, that Israel is fighting, uh, and they don't care, uh, not only if they kill Israel as civilians, that's what they're looking for, but their own civilians because they see yeah. that as a propaganda coup. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, here's more from Mar. I do feel, uh, to, to your point, that if, if the uh, Hamas people had the opportunity, they would kill the maximum number of Israelis, which would be all. And Israel has the opportunity to kill way more, and, and they, they do no. not. No. It seems like they are the victim of the soft bigotry of high expectations. Mm -hmm. The soft bigotry of high expectations. Very clever play on words there. Uh, it's good, though, to see Marr uh, agreeing with his conservative guests on this very important issue. It's encouraging to hear the uh, audience applaud. See, if Barack Obama and John Kerry were sitting in that audience, they wouldn't be applauding. If the State Department was sitting in that audience, they wouldn't be applauding. But the American public is on the side of Israel. More. Can we ask why Israel wins all the time? Because they've won every war. They have to. If they hadn't won every war, they wouldn't exist. I mean, they, you can't go eight and one and be Israel. You kind of have to go 8-0 and no every year. Uh, so uh, I think it has something to do with the fact that they believe in science and education. I mean, Jews, yeah. Jews have, uh, I think, 155 Nobel Prizes, and Muslims have two. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not, now, maybe it's who you know, but that seems like yeah. kind of a big advantage for Team Hebrew. And a big advantage for Team Hebrew. Um, I don't know what the exact Nobel Prize count is, uh, but it is uh, uh, disproportionate to Jews. And uh, I don't think Obama or Kerry would like that either, because it's disproportionate. And anything disproportionate, kind of when it belongs to Jews or Israel, is no good. More. And I think that has, I mean, most scientists are atheists, you know. I don't think you can be an atheist scientist in the Arab world. I think that has something to do with the fact that they're always having this incredible advantage in war and then having to apologize. I'm sorry, no, we're but, winning so bad. All right, but I, I think winning ultimately is about a peaceful region. That's when Israel will truly win, when the region is in peace well, and it has secure borders. And fighting endless wars is a tragedy, not just for the Israeli people, who are protected by this missile defense system now, but also for the Palestinian people who've made very bad choices of their own leaders, they have. Uh, and, but are also victimized. I don't know what also victimized means, Jane Harmon. And this dome will not protect Israel. The dome can't shoot down a barrage of rockets coming in at once. So let's not get complacent here and think that Israel has this, oh, they have this dome shield that's going to protect them. Uh-uh. Next. And isn't it about the least bad option? I mean, I, 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 somebody said to me today, uh, you know, I think the Israelis' main problem is not Hamas. I think it's world opinion. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I think if you live there, you know, your main problem is I might get bombed when I go to the dry cleaners. I think that's a, a little more it's important than do people thing, like yeah. me. I th I'll, you know, I'll get yeah. to that when I can get up above ground, above the shelter well, I'm living also in. Yeah, very good point. Of course, public opinion is what uh, the State Department and Obama count on being against the, uh, Israel. But uh, Israel uh, hopefully has the realization, or their leadership does, that you've got to take care of the problem. And they're doing it on The Steve Malzberg Show.